All right, hello and welcome. Today I want to show you um, basically some radioactive material I found last year in an abandoned um, uranium mine. So, let's first bring these little buggers out and here they are. First of all, this one actually shouldn't be radioactive if I'm correct, but this one here is. So, basically it looks like some normal little stone. Alright, this, this one should actually work. As you can see, it just looks like a normal piece of stone. But now, let's see what actually the Geiger counter is saying to this here. Um, I'm actually using the GQ nuclear radiation detector, which detects um, beta and gamma radiation. So. I would say let's turn it on and see what we actually get. So let's put a little bit closer and see what the, the Geiger counter, counter actually says. So we're already reaching a limit, which basically says for the Geiger counter that which we shouldn't actually be close to this one. There we go. So we're already at almost over 200 counts per minute, which equals around 1.5 microsieverts. Let's see where we're heading towards to. Actually, let me. Ah, I don't want to actually put it on there to spoil the Geiger counter, so let's just keep it quite on top of it. So, we're reaching around almost 400 counts per minute. Oh, we're going up. We're going up. Let's see if we can reach the 500 counts per minute. Oh, seems like it's... Oh, oh, it's still going up. Still going up. 520. 3.45. Oh, is it staying at 500? Five hundred forty, three point five micro uh, micro sieverts. Ah, okay. So we will stay around three point five, ah, three point six micro sieverts, around five hundred sixty counts per minute. So let's see. This is at around one centimeter away from um, the rock itself. Let's see where we, where we are when we're going down to like, well, let's say six or seven centimeters. And you can actually see that the radiation is noticeably um, less in this proximity. And of course, as soon as we go closer, the count goes up again. So to actually get these around 500 CPM um, we have to get really really close to the sample. Basically and at this at this level here you almost have um, background radiation again. 
maybe some gamma and some be um, beta radiation still going up there, but it's basically not noticeable anymore. So yeah, this is actually this little sample which I found in an abandoned uh, uranium mine which is not far from where I live. It was actually decommissioned I think in the 60s or 70s when they were basically mined out around 100 tons of uranium and yeah, since then it stayed abandoned and um, actually right now it is a little fish pond um, where some fishes are inside and the locals actually are catching their fish from there and having a nice lunch out of this radioactive little lake. So, yeah. Here, let's see if we can get a little bit closer. We can actually get a little look on that rock. So, yeah. For the last test I will put it, put the Geiger counter back bes right beside the rock. It's really interesting how fast it really spikes up. And as soon as I put it back up in my little lead case here. Oops. And we seal it up. There should actually be no radiation to be detected anymore. Nothing no noticeable to be fair. You can see it again. This is my little lead case if you want to say so. But yeah, basically safely stored. This actually is not radioactive here. Um, yeah, stored in the lead box. Um, not no noticeable at all. So yeah, you can see it's not that strong, but gives you some nice little yeah beeping with the Geiger counter. That's it, I would say.